you know, after what happened in Tunisia, I wanted to open the dialogue about the global responsibility of everybody. Tunisian French street artist El Cid has done commissions around the world, from America to Qatar. Today he's doing his first commission in London. I was born and raised in France, you know, and I got to kind of identity crisis. That's why I went back to my Tunisian roots. And I start learning Arabic. If I claim myself as a Tunisian, as an Arab, I need to, I need to know how to read and write, and that's what makes me start. And the fact that I discover my Arabic identity made me want to affirm my French identity as well. If I didn't have this struggle when I was younger, in all this questioning about who I am, where I was coming from, I don't think I would be doing what I do today. So my work is a reflection of, of this journey, I think. El Cid was working on his mural throughout the weekend, but he took time out to break fast with me in South London and tell me more about the identity behind his work. What kind of struggles do you think you, you can have when you have this mix? And what do you have to do to reconcile them? When you're born in two worlds, that's, that makes you stronger. So the, there is nothing to reconcile. I don't think it's a fight. It's more, it's more something you should use it as a positive tool. You know, to. Do you think that your work is received differently according to where you've done it? Or do you think it's overall got quite similar reactions? I think there is a beauty like a universal beauty in the, uh, in the Arabic calligraphy that you don't need to translate. So no matter where you go, people, they feel, they feel something, you know, like they feel, uh, they're touched by the dynamic of Arabic script, even if you don't understand it, they feel something. The same way you feel something like from, like a music from another country. Right after the revolution in Tunisia, people have created this romance around me because I'm Tunisian and I paint graffiti in Arabic. So this trait linked me to, uh, to the Tunisian revolution when I was not even there. This is your first commission in London. How have you decided to do what you're going to do here? I just, you know, after what happened in Tunisia and what happened like as well in the, in the US in the church uh, three weeks ago, I wanted to open the dialogue about the global responsibility of everybody and how today we're living in this kind of individualistic society where everybody is like this is now this is your problem this is not my problem and when you see somebody taking the wrong way what our responsibility to to grab him and to bring him back i found this quote from john Locke, who said it's one thing to uh, show somebody's mistake or his error but it's another thing to guide him to the truth the right path my work is, is here like to, uh, yeah, to open dialogue and to maybe build bridges between people and, uh, and culture. We all feel that somehow we're exempt and it's not going to happen to us. And when th things start to change and skin texture starts to change, um, it, I find it almost confounding.